pay up, 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 pay up. Oh, another sunny morning to start with, but look, look at that old uh, Merce Tales up there. Old Merce Tales, Cirrus Clouds. That doesn't, uh, doesn't usually bode well for uh, the rest of the day, usually meaning uh, it's going to rain sooner or later. Maybe very likely sooner. It's going a bit dull now, a bit watery that sun. But uh, <coughs> we're not to worry. Not to worry. Well, I'll be wearing with masks next week, won't we? Whenever we go shopping or something like that, you know. But uh, I'm not bothered. Not mine. Yeah, I made lots of these <laughs> early on. <laughs> I've been very excited as I'm going to be able to wear them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lots of old bandanas that I used to wear on the motorbike. They're all been made into COVID-19 masks now. Thank you. So. We've reversed the decision as we, we don't need masks, we do need masks now. We've reversed the decision, we don't need quarantine, we do need quarantine, we don't need quarantine. Why are we always the one country what's always behind the trend? I don't know. And we're the highest one for deaths or whatnot in Europe. Not good. Do you ever get anything right this lot? It's time to get stop the politicians taking the decisions and let some experts of, who know about health and things like that and and blooming stinking about the economy as well but uh, when we've got a consumer economy like we've got now and we don't keep buying and throwing stuff away keep buying stuff we don't need that's all that's keeping it going surely there's got to be a better way somewhere I don't know what it is, but... And now we're going to be spending, what is it, 700 million, they say. We're going to throw it to the Brexit things for the import-export. Check it. Checking things in and checking things out, just 700 million. I was supposed to be saving us, but, you know, spending a lot more, it seems like. Just that's having a, a blue passport that's black is <laughs> all we're bothered about. And we can say, oh, we're independent, we're not, we're not part of a, a gang of European countries we want to be. On our own. Anyway, another Sunday. Well, this Sunday, I suppose we're very lucky to be uh, alive, you know. There's an awful lot of people, especially bus drivers, lots and lots of bus drivers died because of this Covid thing. I don't know, very largely because they were told that they didn't need to wear a mask. Anyway, look at the Merce Tales up there now, we're building up. Rain again, in it, And I want to get my fencing done. Lots of fencing to get painted. The old creosote. Ooh, that'll make your eyes water. Oh, oh! It, what do you think of these little things that that irritate you? Not nothing really in the scheme of things, but I'll tell you one what irritates me. You know, you get these bags of fruit, fish, vegetables frozen. They've got resealable bags. And you cut that little bit of... Uh, little strip of plastic off the top. And you never seem to... Uh, there never seems to be enough plastic at the top to, uh, to get your thumb and finger to. And you're there and you're trying to get it and it keeps slipping off, slipping off. Oh, it irritates you, you know, because you want to do about something, you have to do it instantly, it has to be done, it, but it doesn't. Why don't they leave a bit more so you can get a good hold of them with your thumb and finger? That's all I want. And you cut it as close to the top as you can. If you cut it too close to the top, 
away from the resealable bit and it's laminated you can't even get your two pieces apart so you have to cut it to where it's open but still never enough oh it does irritate me sometimes that's all I've got to worry about it's not so bad is it oh I see there's been a, seems to be a lot of posts on uh, social media about uh, Himalayan balsam saying oh they're doing such a such a good job, they've done such a good job of getting rid of it. This is not as much this year. I don't think uh, they realise that uh, not just their efforts what caused them not to be as much, it's because we had some really sharp late frost. And the Himalayan balsam can't stand frost. Well, it needs a little touch of frost and when it's just coming through growing for a thing it's very tender and it just kills it off and then that's that year, this year's crop you'll not get the sheltered patch where it's come up well, they don't realise that uh, one year seeding is the equivalent to seven years weeding so they say years yet to bought some seed down in that ground ready for popping up thank you thank you bye